Namaste. I'm Ezichi Ade. This is the Golden Circle Movement Channel. Today we're discussing some of my early visitations to quantum and how they impacted me thus far. So if you're in to light worker strategies, esoteric science, spirit science, make sure you subscribe, ring the all notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. Now, the very first time I found myself in the quanta, I saw a pair of eyes. Now these eyes had just an eyebrow, just eyebrows and the eyes and they seemed feminine and the presence that approached me seemed feminine. The presence that approached me seemed very high, highly energetic, on an energetic level that I was not accustomed to. So this energy being made me very anxious and not necessarily afraid, but just I had an anxiety attack and I was uh, forced to, to break off the meditation because something so unusual that had never happened before was now happening. So after collecting myself, I took a few deep breaths. I went back in and I experienced that visitation, that presence again. And she said, we are the quanta. Welcome to Quanta. You are Quanta now. And now I understand. Since we, our consciousness, our awareness, being in this space where there is no time, no place, no thing, you are simply here. And since you have no ego, you have no possession of self or uh, place, time, no possessions whatsoever. There are no planets. There are no stars. There is no universe inside quanta. So all that is in the quanta is quanta. If your awareness is in quanta, you are quanta. You are part of God. You are God. God is the quanta. The quanta is God. You are the quanta. When you are engaged on that level, we are always engaged on that level to some degree, but when we are more directly so, we are more so deeper into the quanta. But now, the second time, or third, depending on how you look at it, that I visited the quanta, a male entity approached me, completely different, even had a different aroma, a different smell. And this time, the feeling was... Uh, different. I did not close the session properly. And because I was confused and didn't close the session properly, when I went about my normal day after, inquire, after uh, um, uh, encountering this second entity, I felt the presence of the entity with me throughout the day. As though he were with me, just observing my life, my existence. What is it like for this human? Now, the thing about it is I lost a day, 24 hours of time in that exchange of going to Quanta, coming out of it improperly and going about my day thinking that, oh, well, you know, I should be able to just 
continue on and maybe sometime later on jump back in and figure out what was going on. But since I didn't figure out what was going on and I didn't close it, I felt the presence of that entity throughout the day. Now, it wasn't bad. It wasn't necessarily good either. But the fact that I was uh, off by one day made me consider time and space. Not only manifestation of uh, objects or, or conditions or whatever it is that we desire, but in the course of changing this reality, you may change time. And it may come to pass that the time that was so awful may not have occurred. So, this is something that we must really consider when we, were, when we are manifesting, manifesting uh, new conditions for ourselves. If this is something that you understand, type Law of Attraction in the comments. Now, we're going to discuss more of my um, visits to Kwanzaa and what those results were. But for now, just realize that there is so much more to the quantum realm than most of us have ever considered and that we even know. So make sure you subscribe, ring the all notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded and like and share this video. It will help us with the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you want to acquire Quantum Organite, use the link in the description. And if you want to reach me on social media, use those links as well. Thank you for your participation. Namaste.